I found I had less and less to say until finally I became silent and began to listen. I discovered in the silence the voice of God. Soren Kierkegaard, Danish theologian and philosopher of the 1800s. Then he said, go out and stand on the mountain before the Lord. And behold, the Lord passed by and a great and strong wind tore into the mountains and broke the rocks in pieces before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind. And after the wind, an earthquake. But the Lord was not in the earthquake. And after the earthquake, a fire. But the Lord was not in the fire. And after the fire, a still, small voice. So it was, when Elijah heard it, that he wrapped his face in his mantle and went out and stood in the entrance of the cave. Suddenly, a voice came to him and said, What are you doing here, Elijah? The same voice comes to us. What are you doing here? Isn't that a question we all hear at some point? Coming from someplace deep inside? It's like a sleeper program that's been activated, triggered by life circumstances, age, or suffering. And we wonder, what am I doing here? God asks Elijah and maybe he's compelled us as well to name it. What are you doing here? What do you really want? It's the question that demands a response. Breathe deeply and dare to be honest with yourself and God as you listen again to 1 Kings 19, 11 to 13. Then he said, Go out and stand on the mountain before the Lord. And behold, the Lord passed by, and a great strong wind tore into the mountains and broke the rocks in pieces before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind. And after the wind, an earthquake. But the Lord was not in the earthquake. And after the earthquake, a fire. But the Lord was not in the fire. And after the fire, a still, small voice. So it was when Elijah heard it that he wrapped his face in his mantle and went out and stood in the entrance of the cave. Suddenly a voice came to him and said, What are you doing here, Elijah? And now, inspired by Augustine's words, I pray, Loving Jesus, word made flesh, tune my ears to hear your call. You are my end. It is to you that I am journeying. And it is only when I have arrived there that my desire will be fulfilled. You are my home. Help me to hear and know your voice as you call out to my restless heart. I am the way, and to me you come. <laughs>